Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to start making the primary weapon animations. In the last video we made the, the secondary weapon animations. We're going to make the idle, walk, sprint, jump and the reload animations. Which uh, are not hard to make, they just take time. Same as we did the last episode, I want to open up the idle melee animation. I think this is a great start for the rest of the animations. And I'll just rename it down here, idle, primary. In order to make this happen, um, you should have a gun model that you want to use. I have a M4 gun model that I'm going to import into here. I showed you how to make low poly guns in my um, in one of my previous videos, so you can go check that out. So this is the M4 that I model, so I'll just take it, copy it, and paste it into here. And now I can use this to start modeling or start animating. So I'll just go into here and start animating the position, the first position. What you can do is rotate this uh, around the Z axis so it's more like this. And you can also use the G, uh, the G shortcut to move things. That's very useful here. And again, same as uh, previous episode, make sure that this bone is always looking forward, the right hand bone. Very, very important. I think this is a cool position. Of course, uh, we may have this scaled a bit and it will work fine in both ways. Actually, I think the position for this might be better if it was holding um, here, something like this maybe. I think it looks much better. Something like this I think is much better for the so once you have the pose, just select everything with A and press I, Control C to copy, move to the last frame, Control V, and then press I. And now we just go to the middle right here, and maybe move these bones a bit up. And again, make sure that this right hand bone is uh, straight, looking straight forward. We have this idle animation. I think that's fine. I will just go file save as. Create a new folder right here, primary. And then I'll just save this as FPS arms idle primary. And of course, export it also. Export FBX idle primary. Click selected objects down here. Very important. And check this thing for scale. Next is the walking animation, and it should be pretty easy to do it with the idle animation from the idle animation actually. So what I'll do, I'll just rename it down here to walk primary, and then I will start modeling the or start not modeling but animating the first pose. I deleted the gun; we won't need it anymore, I don't think. Um, so I'll rotate this around the z-axis whenever we're starting. Press I, Control C, Control V and I. So the first and the last frame are the same. And this one I'll just rotate on the other side and press I. If we play it, that's cool. Uh, but again, we have to make sure that this is looking forward. Press I, copy, paste into the last one, press I. Right here, we also have to make sure that this is looking forward. And rotate this a bit on the Z axis, just to make sure. This looks fine for the walking animation, except I think here we're maybe rotating a bit too much on the Z axis, so I'll just bring it back a bit and then uh, adjust this bone again. Press I. And that is fine. So I'll just... Uh, Save it first, save as. This will be walk primary. And then we'll go file export FBX. And it will be 
<laughs> PS Arms Walk Primary. Next is the Sprint animation, which should be also very quick. Just from the Walk animation, just rename it Sprint Primary. And what I'll do is, uh, same as last time, I'll just rotate it a bit on the x-axis and make it uh, rotate a bit more on the z-axis like this. Press I. We don't have to make sure that this is looking forward since we're not going to be able to shoot while we're sprinting. Select everything, copy with Control C, paste with Control V, and press I. And right here, I also want to rotate around the x-axis like this. And then rotate around the z-axis on the other side. Press I. This will work fine. So I'll just file save as FPS arms sprint primary and then of course export. Next is the jump animation. For that we'll go back and open up the primary idle animation. I can delete the gun again, we don't need it. And uh, I will just rename it down here to jump primary. Remove the, f the middle frame right here. And at around frame 6, I will rotate everything around the x-axis. And then the forearms a bit more. I'll take the last frame and move it a bit closer so the animation finishes a bit quicker. Let me just, which frame is this? 11. I can change the end to 11 down here. So it loops. That will work fine. We don't need anything too, too fancy. Just to know where that we're, that we're jumping. So just file save as. PS arms, jump, primary. And export it as always. Click selected objects down here and check the scale. That's good. And the last thing is the reload animation. And same as before, we do need a reload animation for our gun. If you do not have one, I suggest you make one. It will be very useful. And you will learn a lot. This is very simple to make. And I showed you how to rig a gun in uh, one of my previous videos. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the armature and the mesh to this project. Rotate it around the z-axis and uh, place it at around the place that I want it. And now if I just play the animation, it will play both animations. And uh, I'll just move the last frame to 31, and rename it to reload primary. <clears throat> and then I just have to sync these two animations, which shouldn't be too hard. I'll just find the point at which the magazine is at the lowest, rotate around the x-axis. This looks fine. As I say, just uh, a bit of, um, it, it's a bit tricky to do it, but uh, I think it's not that hard. Of course, we'll file save as, and we'll save this as reload primary, and then also export, file export fpx, reload primary. Now this is, of course, this is only for the M4, what you will need to do is just make another reload animation for the shotgun and the sniper. But that is, again, it's a bit, it's easy. It's very easy. It just takes a bit of work. And time. And good luck. So this is it for this episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And um, you can go follow me on my social media, or even support me on my Patreon if, you, if you're that kind. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.